It's Power Back Time on the Gutsy Podcast. Each week we bring you five minutes of condensed inspiration to reclaim the courage and momentum you've given away. You've got big things to do, so let's get your power back. Let's face it, inspiration doesn't exactly always show up when you want it to be there. On this week's Power Back, we're talking all about how to find inspiration when motivation is completely absent. I can't tell you how many times that I've had a list of things that I have to get done or something that really needs my time and attention. And because I'm not feeling overly spunky or adventurous or excited, I keep putting it to the bottom of the list saying, I'll get to that tomorrow. And then lo and behold, it comes to the 11th hour where I really just don't have any more time to spare on it. Therefore, I have to get it done. Sound familiar? There is this cycle of needing to get things done, but just because you're not feeling inspired, we don't start them, even though that they're important to us. Like how many times have you been super jazzed up about an idea that you had and a few hours or days went by and now it's come down to actually executing the thing and you've just lost your steam, your mojo. It's It's as if the steam from the engine has been completely depleted. Doesn't mean that the idea is any less awesome. It just means that your energy has shifted since then. And then there are those other tasks, the things that really need our attention, but we just don't want to do them because let's face it, they're not fun. This might include making phone calls that you don't want to make or going down through some actionable items that are tedious going through that mountain of papers that sit behind you on your desk. These things may not be fun, and certainly it's not easy to find motivation to knock these things out when it's not something that you're excited about. But on the flip side, by not dealing with them, you're constantly using energy towards the things that you don't want to do. And if you took a few minutes or hours and just did the damn thing, not only would you not have to think about it anymore, but you create space to be able to do more of the things that you do want to spend your time doing. But that brings me back to what happens if you have things that you do want to do, but you're just not feeling overly inspired and don't have the momentum to actually get those things started. I would bet that there's a handful of times where you have looked at that thing, thought, oh, that's really cool. (sighs) Maybe I'll start that tomorrow. And we can blame that on 100,000 different things. The weather, something that happened that day, a particular mood that we're in, or maybe you're just feeling lazy because... I feel pretty lazy sometimes too. The point is you have really great things and really great ideas that you want to execute on, but you're not feeling inspired to actually get those things started. So here's the trick, guys. The key, the number one way to create inspiration, motivation, and momentum is to just start. Yeah, that's it. Literally just beginning because starting something is often the hardest part. If you think about exercising, the hardest part is actually going to the gym or getting on the equipment. But once you get there and you're warmed up, you're thinking, oh my gosh, why don't I do this more often? Or let's say you've been wanting to start a blog and you were really excited about it and had a lot of energy and momentum around it, but then life got in the way and you're finding it difficult to build that momentum back up. I want you to open your computer or get a notepad and just start writing. We often get wrapped up in the details, the how, the mechanics, the technology, who's going to help me, how I don't know how to do this portion. If you how your idea to death, you're going to kill all motivation quicker than just about anything. Even if you're not feeling like you can start something or you feel like you're inspired and have all these great ideas, if you just simply start putting action behind it, most of the time your brain is going to kick on. It's like a warm-up session. I like to think of your brain kind of like honey. When it's not being used and it's just kind of tucked away, it is more dense and it's much slower. But if you give it a little bit of heat, it becomes a lot more pliable and it's way easier to use. Same concept here with your ideas. If you're not feeling inspired to do something, but you know that it needs done, by starting, you take your brain from that kind of solid, hard to use stage and turn it into a very fluid, open flowing space where you can actually start to feel productive towards your goals. This week, I want you to take your power back by doing one thing that you don't feel inspired to do, but you know that you need to do. Create a space that allows you to spend some time on this. Maybe it's in your office. Maybe there's a coffee shop you love to go to. Maybe it's a separate room or completely away from everything. Go somewhere where there are no distractions, because honestly, distractions are one of the biggest inspiration killers. 
Once you have momentum, it takes your brain 20 minutes to get back into the groove of things after you have been distracted. So every time you stop to answer a question or look at your phone or scroll through Instagram, you're killing the creative inspirational momentum that you have created. And every time you go back to it, you're, it's like you're starting all over again. And that's where that cycle begins. I have to do something. I feel energized to do it. I'm going to work on it. If something happens, now I don't feel like doing it. And then it goes into the inevitable to-do pile. This week, I just want you to focus on doing one thing, one thing that you know that you need to do that you were once inspired to do, but have lost the steam behind it. I want you to put pencil down to the paper and I want you to put action behind it and see how quickly your motivation returns. Join me on next week's podcast as I spill the beans on the top five biggest business mistakes that I've made and how you can prevent making those same ones. Until then, follow the Gutsy Podcast on Facebook and Instagram and follow me personally on Instagram at that Laura Aura. See you next time.